Hello, welcome back to Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Coffee. My name is Manolito, and I've got a rye whiskey from a Texas distillery, Treaty Oak. And this is called Red Handed Rye. And the reason it's called Red Handed Rye is because it's a sourced whiskey. This is from Canada, I believe. I tried to look up the uh, information from the distillery, Shenley Distilleries. Couldn't really find a lot of information, couldn't find a specific website for them. So I'm just gonna go based off memory uh, when I went to visit the distillery and that they sourced the, uh, the juice from Canada. So this is a, a 10 year old whiskey. It is 50% ABV, 100 proof. Uh, we'll go over nosing, tasting, uh, the color, so on. And um, we'll see how the things go. As you can see, I'm close to halfway done with this bottle. So I've gotten to drink a little bit of it and get to know it a little bit. So I do like this, uh, this whiskey. So we'll start off with the color. So it's actually pretty light for a 10 year old. So I definitely don't believe this is aged in Texas. So it's a nice golden, almost apple juice type color. It's got a little bit of uh, you kind of see the legs there. Little oily, not super oily. You can see they run down pretty, pretty fast. I don't know if this is um, natural color, if it's uh, unchilled filtered doesn't really say on their website but they do have the mash bill and it's 30% uh, corn 53% rye 8% uh, malted barley and then the water source is a uh, limestone filtered water from dripping springs texas so we'll go with that so on the nose uh, this is it's actually very i can i get that barley note, so it almost has kind of a nose like a single malt. It's really nice. It's uh, you don't get a lot of the alcohol. Actually, I'm not getting any of the alcohol, so no burn on the nose. It's very light, floral, making my mouth water a little bit. Get a very very small hint of like cinnamon and nutmeg. Very, very small. And then a little bit, a little bit of barrel, like a like kind of like a dusty wood type, type note. But it's very light and refreshing if you can get that from smelling something, but it smells like you could put this on ice on a hot day, sit outside, and this would uh, almost quench your thirst. It, it really smells, almost get a, a, an apple juice type type note from it. But uh, smells and looks really nice. Let's go ahead and uh, taste this, see what we get. So you get a little bit of that spice from the rye kind of a mixture of the rye spice and maybe a little bit of the, the barrel spice. Uh, it is 10 years old, it's aged for 10 years. And then uh, almost like a uh, an apple juice, pear juice uh, type note in there. Uh, it's very light, easy to drink, even though it's 100, 100 proof, 50 ABV, not getting that burn uh, on the tongue, not getting the, uh, on the finish, there's no, there's no burn. It doesn't sip like a 100 proof uh, whiskey. It's actually very nice. Um, almost like a kind of buttery, almost reminds me of like an Irish whiskey. Coats the tongue a little bit, not super oily. Although you can see uh, legs kind of rolling down the glass. Not super slow, but uh, it's not just, it's not watery, but it is light. It's kind of hard to, uh, hard to explain that. So some whiskeys are kind of watery and, and light. And I guess you maybe, uh, say that it's weak. This is definitely not that. It's very, very delicious whiskey. On the finish, I get that, um, 
that spiciness from the, the rye, possibly from the barrel as well. And again, I'm getting, uh, it's kind of, kind of fruity, like a fruit juice, but not sweet like the fruit juice, but just the, uh, that apple or pear type uh, juice that maybe is uh, like a natural juice, unsweetened, uh, very nice. So I'm gonna put uh, just a little bit of water in there since it is uh, 50 ABV. And so I got my little angel dropper here, put a little bit in there. And we'll see if that opens it up. Just have to take that a little bit. Tame down the nose a little bit as far as the flavors. Not really getting as much of the, the apple and, and cinnamon that I was getting before. Kind of release that, uh, the alcohol. So get a little bit more burn on the nose, but not, not something that's gonna cause you to choke or cough or just getting a little bit of that, uh, of that alcohol burn. And then that apple and cinnamon, very, very faint now. Still very light though, very refreshing. Um, almost uh, like effervescent, if you wanna call it that. I'm trying to get fancy words here. Still smells nice, oh. A little bit of caramel there. All right, let's see if uh, water cha changed the taste on it. Opened up that rye spice, which I like. I, like, I kind of like uh, those whiskeys that are a little uh, kind of kick you in the face type uh, type whiskey, smoky or spicy or that type of thing. It almost turned into like a black pepper spice. Still has the that wood type note from the barrel. Uh, a little bit of the, not so much of the apple and pear like before. Uh, very, very little. Uh, sweetness has gone down, but still very, very nice. Um, I think this would, uh, although I've never had it on the rocks, I'm not really a fan of, uh, of whiskey on the rocks, but uh, I would imagine if you like whiskey on the rocks, this is probably, this will probably hold up pretty good with a nice cube in there. You sit outside on a hot day and, and just kind of sip on this and it'll be nice and refreshing. Uh, but it does remind me it really does remind me of an Irish whiskey. So it's kind of creamy and buttery and and just soft and and uh, almost rounded. You know, it, it, there's no sharp edges on this when you're when you're sipping on it. No no spikes of one flavor or another. Just all kind of just kind of flows. Finish is not very long. It's more of that rife uh, spice finish. Uh, so it just kind of sticks with you for just a you know half a minute, minute or so, uh, until you move on to the next sip. Yeah, that's, that's very nice. Uh, this is a good sipping whiskey. So if you ever get a chance, um, I'm not sure where they're distributed. I know they're, they've got a pretty big distribution throughout Texas and multiple states. I can't remember the last time I was there if they were in like 13 states or 15 states or or something to that effect. But this is, uh, uh, they have a pretty decent uh, distribution there. They're fairly medium to large size uh, distillery. They make their own stuff uh, and then they also have some source things. So if you've had uh, been to Dripping Springs and visited Treaty Oak, they have a really nice uh, distillery. And uh, I have a video that I showed of my visit. I'll either post a link on the video somewhere or in the description. Uh, you can take a look at that again if you want a little bit more information about it. I had more information in there. But it's really, really good. Really nice uh, sipping whiskey. Uh, let me know if you've had it. You know, I'd like to hear from you guys or gals. Um, if you've been there, you know, if you're from Texas and you've had a chance to go visit them, uh, just hit me in the comments and tell me what you think. All right, so uh, that's it for now. Uh, cheers.